Hi, welcome to this demo. My name is Anuraj. I am an engineering technologist with Dell. In this demo, we are going to configure the QoS for block resources in Dell PowerStore storage array. The QoS provides the ability to limit the performance capabilities of a resource in PowerStore. We can configure the QoS policy on a volumes or on a volume groups. In case of volume, the configured limit is applied for that volume or in case the QoS policy is applied to a volume group, the limit is applied for all the volumes in the volume group. And the QoS policy only applies to the host I.O. and it will not impact any of the internal storage array I.O. or the replication I.O.s. And also the I.O. limit is applied regardless the host connectivity type. That means the QoS policy will be applied to all the host even if it is connected using the FC connectivity, ISCSI connectivity or on the NVMe connectivity. User can also configure the IOPS limit or bandwidth limit or a combination of the two. If both of the IO limit and the bandwidth limit are configured for a resource, in that case the value which reach first is enforced. And also the user can configure two types of IO limit rules the absolute limit or the density based limit. In the absolute limit, the user configure the maximum amount of I.O. allowed on a resource. In case of density based limit, the user configure the amount of I.O. allowed per GB. So the power store uses this value to calculate the maximum amount of IOPS allowed per the resource. And the QoS feature enable the user to prioritize the critical application by limiting the I.O. on a non-critical applications. Let's look into the PowerStore console. So this is the console of our PowerStore storage array. So let's go to the storage volumes. So here we can see a volume of 2 TB is provisioned and also we can see that this volume is assigned to an ESXi host and a virtual machine called RHL test 01 is created inside this data store. In the performance tab, we can see that the QoS policy is not configured for this volume. Also we can observe very little IO load on this volume. So let's go to the Linux machine and generate some IO load on this volume. Now let's go to the power store console. In the performance tab, now we can see that now there is significant amount of IO load is getting generated on this volume. Now we can configure the QoS policy onto this volume to limit the IOPS. So let's go to the storage QoS and we can create a block QoS policy and we'll provide a name QoS-Policy-01. Then we'll create a IO limit rule and provide the name as limit hyphen absolute IOPS. And in this rule, we'll configure the absolute limit and we'll limit the IOPS to a value of 20,000. Now we can create this rule. Now select the rule and create the QoS policy. Once the QoS policy is created, we can assign this policy onto the volume. So let's go to the storage volumes and here we'll select the volume from the more actions, we can change the QoS policy. So here we'll select our QoS policy, the QoS hyphen policy hyphen zero one. And now let's apply this policy. Now the QoS policy is successfully applied for this volume. Select the volume, go to the performance tab, and now we can see the QoS policy is applied onto this volume. And this QoS policy will limit the maximum IOPS onto this volume to the value of 20,000. So now we can see the graph, the IOPS is now reduced to a 20,000 value. It is possible to modify the QoS policy while it is assigned to a volume. Now we can go to the storage. From the QoS policy, we will modify the IO limit rule. So in this time, we will change the max IOPS from 20,000 to 50,000 and apply this change. Once this QoS policy is applied, now the volume, the maximum I.O. limit on the volume will be increased from 20,000 to the 50,000. 
so now let, let's go to the performance tab of the volume and here we can observe the IOPS limit now going from 20,000 to the 50,000 IOPS now we can remove the QoS policy from the volume so let's go to the storage volumes and select the volume from the more action we can change the QoS policy so we'll deselect our QoS policy from here and apply the change now select the volume and go to the performance tab now here we can see the QoS policy is removed and the IOPS is going back to the previous value it is also possible to apply the QoS policy on the volume group level also so let's go to the storage volume group and create a volume group VG-01 now select the QoS policy and create the volume group now the QoS policy QoS hyphen policy hyphen 01 is applied to the volume group VG-01 now the aggregate IOPS of all the volumes inside the volume group VG-01 will be limited by the value configured in our QoS policy this concludes this demo thank you for watching